heap sort sorting a set of elements using a heap takes place in two phases the first phase is the construction of a heap the second phase is removing elements that is removing the root of the heap one by one till there is no more elements in the heap so why does this work let's say we want to sort elements in ascending order in that case we will use a min heap so first we will construct a min heap with all the elements we want to sort then we will keep removing the root at every instance the root is going to be the smallest element given the set of elements included in the heap because for a min heap every node must be smaller than its children so that is why heap sort is going to work so now let's take a look at the time complexity for heap sort so first let's look at what happens during phase 1 in phase 1 for n elements we have to add the element and then we have to rearrange based on whether you're going to do a top down approach or a bottom up approach you will go for up heap bubbling or down heap bubbling respectively nevertheless we will still have to rearrange after adding the element whichever way you choose so adding the element to the heap is going to take a constant time because we are simply adding it to the first available space in the heap if it's the case of top down if it's bottom up we are going to just connect the two existing heaps in with k as our root either way adding the element is going to take a constant time let's say that constant is c rearranging however in the worst case is going to take a time of log n let's take the case of up heap bubbling so every time we are going to add an element it is going to be swapped all the way up till the root that means it is going to be swapped at every level so how many swaps are going to be there there are going to be as many swaps as there are levels so for a tree given n nodes there are going to be log n levels for a balanced binary tree which is what a heap is so how many swaps will be there in the worst case in the worst case the element will go all the way till the root that is it will go throughout the tree so the number of swaps is going to be the number of levels in the tree which is going to be log n so for n elements i am going to add the elements so it's taking time c and rearrange which is going to take time log n so this is going to be a total of how much time n into c plus n into log n now let's look at the next phase the next phase is delete repeatedly which means for n elements why am i saying for n elements because each of the n elements are going to become the root eventually one by one if we keep deleting the root different elements keep replacing the root and we keep deleting that so all the elements are going to become the root at some point and we will delete it so for n elements what am i going to do i'm going to remove it from the tree and then i am going to perform down heap bubbling now 
down heap bubbling of what of the replaced element which replaces the root we have just removed so to remove the element it's going to take maybe some constant time again some c and for down heap bubbling it is going to take me a time of log n in the worst case how is it log n in the worst case in the worst case we are going to swap the element which is initially at the root all the way till it is at a leaf node so how many swaps are taking place the number of swaps that are taking place is equal to the number of levels in the tree which is log n so now what total time does this take n into c plus n log n so given phase 1 after that we do phase 2 what is the total time we are taking 2 nc plus 2 n log n so this is going to be the running time in worst case so now to find the big o of this we need to find the dominant term n log n dominates over just n so this is going to be big o of n log n why are we not taking into consideration 2 or c because we ignore the constants when we are trying to find big o so this is how you identify the big o notation of heap sort